It's our weekly check-in with the Oakville Milton Humane Society, and we are joined once again by registered veterinary technician, Maddie Genota. Good afternoon, Maddie. Good afternoon, Jason. So let's talk about, well, adoption, of course, because, you know, Oakville Milton Humane Society is known for that, but in particular, adoption of more senior pets. And I think a lot of people overlook this, but let's face it, puppies are a lot of work. Absolutely. They are a, they can be absolutely wonderful, um, but they are absolutely a very big energy commitment and they're, they're not for everyone. They're, yeah, definitely require a lot of energy and commitment for a good few years when they're in that puppy stage, because it does, it does extend beyond a year of age. They stay puppyish for quite a while. So, you know, you, you see people come in and maybe are looking for a pet. Um, what are some of the advantages to adopting a senior pet? So with the senior pet, there's a whole a whole heap of advantages. Um, typically, you will get with the older dogs, they come already house trained, or at least they have a foundation of that in there somewhere where it can, you know, they pick it up faster um, than a, a brand new puppy who has to learn that all from the get go. The energy requirements, you know, you get your you get your senior dogs that do like to be active, but typically you're not needing to spend as much time you know, doing dedicated exercise as you would with with a puppy. Um, as well, you know, a lot of the, you might have some training already done on them, at least with your basic commands. Um, they're, you know, might be used to being living in different environments, especially if, you know, it's a senior pet who um, might have been surrendered just because, you know, the owner couldn't care for them anymore, that sort of situation. Um, you can get these lovely dogs who, you know, they're, they're trained, they have good manners, they're, they're house trained, that sort of thing. Um, and they're just, you know, basically just ready to go and, and walk into your home. And I know you guys at Oakville Milk Team Maine Society are very cautious of figuring out the personality of the dog and trying to match him with the proper owner, but who, what type of person do you see uh, come in and specifically look for a more senior dog? We see all types of people come in for, come in for senior dogs, absolutely. There's definitely no kind of one type that gravitates, gravitates towards it. Um, typically, you know, we'll see people who are looking for, like I said, not that huge energy commitment. Maybe they, they work longer hours, you know, just being at home and letting a puppy out every two hours just isn't feasible for their, for their situation. Um, you know, can only get back on a lunch break or their home, you know, dogs alone for a little bit longer period of time. Um, people who themselves just can't be exercising for as much time as it takes yeah. with a puppy and are looking for a dog that maybe matches their, you know, their own physical or energy levels, that sort of thing. Um, and also there's just people who, you know, who come in and just want to say, you know, which dog's been here the longest or which dog is your, um, you know, has more medical issues, that sort of thing. There's just people out there who do really just want to help animals um, and, you know, come in looking for a, do a dog or a cat whose life that they can make the biggest impact on. Now, the adoption process, you know, we've talked about it here on the show and you guys deal with it each and every day. And, you know, I don't want it to seem overwhelming to people, but it is, it's, there's a reason it's called a process. And Absolutely. you guys are actually doing an education session about that. It's, it's this Wednesday, right? It is. Yep. It's this Wednesday. Um, the registration closes tomorrow, Tuesday evening for it. And it is Stephanie, who is our customer care manager for the last about 10 years, uh, talking about the, the adoption process, how to navigate it, tips and tricks, what to expect. And it will also have a Q&A session following it um, so that if people have you know, specific questions about the about the adoption process, um, they can to really will be a really good resource to kind of get people's you know, feet in the door to kind of start to, to look at it as an option, as opposed to just um, going out and uh, buying a puppy from a breeder. Kind of let you know there's definitely um, plenty of options out there. Adorable adoptables is what I call them. And I know you guys have not only, you know, dogs and puppies and cats, but along with that, uh, there are other creatures such as guinea pigs, and you're going to be showcasing them this week on Instagram? We are, yep. So every Friday we've been doing um, an Instagram live session with one of our adoptable animals, uh, 2 p.m. I believe on the OMHS Instagram account. Mm -hmm. And this week we have two of our lovely guinea pigs, a bonded uh, pair named Phineas and Ferb, um, who are gonna be featured this week as they've just been made available for adoption. And what's better than one guinea pig? Two guinea, two pigs. guinea pigs. So you can check them out this week on the Instagram live. Maddie, always a pleasure. Thanks for doing this. No problem.